All right, so this Christmas, my mom gave me a great gift. It's a DNA test kit so I can find out more about my family's roots. These DNA kits are really popular right now. All you have to do is register online and then swab the inside of your cheek or actually spit into the kit. My kit called for me to collect saliva, spit into it, so I won't show you that here, but this is the kit. Uh, this is what I did earlier this morning. Next, I have to send a sample to the company who will test it to determine where in the world my ancestors come from. I'm curious to see what the test finds, but the results can be so surprising for many people, and with DNA kits like mine, so popular right now, we invited members of the North Hills genealogists here to help us understand what the results mean once you get them back. That's a big question. Welcome group president Rich Venezia and group member Linda Lower. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So this is a big question. Um, I know that part of my family is Syrian. I know that's going to come back. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these come back with 22% uh, Syrian, 15% Irish. So mm -hmm. breaking all of that down, understanding what these kits mean, there's there still some questions. Sure. Yeah, and I think there's a couple of different testing companies, and each kit is going to give you slightly different information. Mm -hmm. um, so you did 23andMe, is that That's right? That's what I did, right. So 23andMe has uh, the added addition of a possible family health history, if that's something that's interesting to you. Um, but also, most of the companies will allow you to create a family tree, and then you can match with other people that might be possible cousins and see where the, the links might come into play, and also what common ancestors you might share or learn something new about your ethnicity that Maybe you thought you were something, but you're actually something else. So let's talk about some of the other kits that are out there. There's sure. Ancestry DNA, Family Tree DNA, which I guess probably helps you with that family tree. Several other ones out there as well. Yeah, the main three are Ancestry DNA, Family Tree DNA, and 23andMe. There's also a new kit on the block, My Heritage DNA. Ancestry DNA has the biggest sample set, so they have over six million people that have tested, wow. and they just yeah. sold millions more at Christmas time. So that number is going to grow pretty exponentially in the next few months as the the tests come in. Um, but they allow you to add in your family tree. Um, family Tree DNA has surname projects, and 23andMe has this health right. history that you can do. And if I can just interject, I've done that Ancestry DNA, mm -hmm. and um, I've been able to connect with um, distant relatives, and they've been able to answer some of the questions that I have had. They might have pictures of family mm -hmm. members that I would like to have, pictures that we share, and things like that. That's so. really neat. And we actually have your results. We do. Which is really neat that, mm -hmm. that we can be able to share those. So what did you find in your in your kit? Um, I think what was so surprising, well, I was glad to see that um, I was Irish, right? I, I, <laughs> I knew that. But there were some other things that, um, for example, um, Eastern, a little bit of Eastern European, but mostly, mostly Western European, and then um, I would say the Scandinavian area. So that was a bit surprising to me. So I, and it, it's something that, it's a good beginning, but I need to go a little bit further with that. Awesome. Well, I, and I can understand that once you start down that road, you might want to continue. Mm -hmm. And Rich, I know that, that you've done this, but you've also done it for some family members yeah, as well. Yeah, I've tested both of my parents, and that's been a really <laughs> interesting thing to be able to see what I got from each of them. And so was there anything surprising that you found? Um, uh, a little bit. My mom's a bit of everything, but my dad's kind of 100% Italian, but seeing that there was some uh, Caucasus as well as Middle Eastern in there, as well as a tiny bit of North African, makes sense when you think about the history of Southern mm -hmm. Italy, right. but wasn't something totally expected. Is this your mother's that we're looking at right now? That is my mom's that we're looking yeah. at. Yeah. Right. So she's kind of all over Europe, and again, you get a little bit of the Middle Eastern from that Southern European uh, match as well. And yeah. this is your, from your dad? Yeah. Right, and this is actually a different kit, too. So well, I this, was going to say, this, this looks different than this the This is a family ones. tree DNA kit. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. Okay, so you get these in, and you find out that you're a little bit Irish, and you're mm -hmm. a little Eastern European. So what do you do with those results from there? How do you kind of break that down and make it matter to you? Yeah, uh, well, I'll let funny you, you should ask. That. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, this coming Tuesday at our monthly meeting for North Hills genealogists, we're having we're streaming in Blaine Bettencher, who's a nationally known uh, DNA expert, and he's going to talk about how to make sense of your ethnicity admixture. What does it mean when you're 20 percent Irish, and what if you didn't know you were Irish in the first place, and how might that make sense? Like for instance, Linda's Scandinavian might have come from perhaps Viking ancestors hundreds and hundreds of years ago that came through the British Isles, and that might help you understand a little more. So, um, you know, looking to people like Blaine at perhaps our meeting might uh, help, help you Kind of trace all that, that. And, yeah. and understand yeah, And I'm looking forward to going to attending that meeting. And that is on March 23rd and 24th. 
Is that That's right? That's actually this coming Tuesday. Oh, that, this coming the Tuesday, and then you have another 16. conference in right. March. Yeah. And what, right. what happens at the conference? The, this is the North Hills Genealogy Conference. That's right. right. Yeah. So it's March 23rd and March 24th. So it's two days, but you can customize your schedule so you don't have to go for, to both days. But we're going to be looking at um, records, different kinds of records, because even though the DNA tests, are, they might be a good starting point or might add to your mm -hmm. you know, genealogy um, research, you really want to delve into records. And so we have two great speakers. One is Aaron McWilliams from the, I know I'm going to get this Pennsylvania wrong, Pennsylvania State Archives. State Archives. And then uh, John Philip Coletta, who is a, a great genealogist and speaker as well. So they'll be there. And so we're going to be looking at naturalization records, um, state land records, um, naturalization, things like that. So yeah. it'll be... It, it, it's going to be an exciting, exciting event yeah. for us. And it is free and open to the public. It is open to the public. Now, our, our meetings are free and open to the public, but the, the conference, um, there is a fee for that. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully I'll have my results back in time, and oh, I can oh, come to it. It would be so That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you both for being here. Thank I think you. it's just such a fascinating trend that's taking place. So neat to learn more about where we come from. It Absolutely. is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. And learn more about your ancestry at two upcoming events, as we were just talking about, presented by the North Hills Genealogist. First is on January 16th, when you can better understand your DNA testing results with nationally renowned expert Blaine Bettinger. Then on March 23rd and 24th, come to the Genealogist Conference in Wexford. You do not have to be a member to attend that. You can get more details on the North Hills Genealogist website. You'll find the link at kdka.com slash PTL.